AAA is predicting that from today through next Monday, nearly 44 million Americans will travel, 38 million by car and 3.5 million by plane. So we have live team coverage of the upcoming holiday weekend from the conditions at the airports, the roads, and the weather. We start, though, with ABC7 News anchor Gloria Rodriguez, who is live at San Francisco International Airport with how things are going there. Good morning, Gloria. Good morning, Julie and Chris. And yeah, you know, it's been busy here all morning long. We've been here since about 4.30 this morning, and pretty much we've been seeing a lot of people coming in for their flights this Memorial Day weekend. You can see behind me all those folks there that are checking in for their flights. And you know, AAA data shows that domestic flight prices are up 1% to 2%, but as you can see, that is not stopping people from traveling this holiday. Jacob Lloyd flew into SFO from Nashville on Thursday morning, just in time for Memorial Day weekend. He's one of an estimated more than 755,000 people traveling through SFO this weekend, about 8% more than last year. The airports have been kind of busy since it is a holiday weekend, but I feel like it's been going pretty smooth. I got in and got out pretty smooth, so I mean, I'm not complaining. The travel rush comes as federal data shows SFO at the bottom of on-time rankings nationally in February. SFO spokesperson Doug Yakel says runway construction and weather conditions made February more delay prone than previous years. As for the boost in holiday travelers? Well, I think we continue to see uh, post pandemic recovery happening and it's already mostly happened for the domestic sector. But really what we've been seeing over the past 12 months is a very meaningful recovery in the international sector. A lot of airlines that had suspended flights during the COVID pandemic are back at SFO, uh, especially this year. A AAA VP says a large number of Memorial Day travelers signals a busy summer travel season ahead. The editor in chief of the travel site Skift says now is a time to book your summer trip if you haven't already. The earlier, the better. We're already kind of, you know, past that prime, um, that prime booking window. But I will say one tip I do have is that you know, the Olympics are going to be in Paris this summer. Flights are very inexpensive right now to go to Paris directly after the games. So you heard it here first. All right, so good tip right there if you want to maybe take a trip to Paris this summer. And back here live, you can see the board here at SFO of the flights that are taking off today. I've been tracking that board throughout the morning. So far, I really haven't seen too many delays, but obviously you want to check with your airline, make sure that your flight is leaving on time if you are traveling this weekend. And the airport spokesperson recommends you get here early because it's going to be so busy this weekend if you are flying. So two hours before a domestic flight, three hours before an international flight. Live at SFO, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Gloria. From SFO now to the roads, if you are traveling and you're going to be driving this holiday weekend, there are some specific times you want to know about. ABC 7 News anchor Amanda Del Castillo is breaking down the best and the worst times to leave the house over the next couple of days if you want to avoid congestion. Amanda? Yeah, Chris and Julian, Bay Area roads will certainly be busy as well. Triple A is noting convenience and flexibility are two main reasons so many people plan to travel travel by car here at home eastbound I 80. So San Francisco to the area near Highway 37 specifically is expected to see the most congestion this holiday weekend. If you can avoid the East Shore Freeway, especially tomorrow at 11 AM, it'll be a mess during that peak traffic period. What would typically be about an hour drive that stretch encompassing the Bay Bridge, Emeryville, Hercules, American Canyon is likely to take an upwards of one hour and 25 minutes plus. AAA is giving us the worst and best travel times over the next five days. If you want to leave today, but you haven't taken off yet, wait until after 7 p.m. Tomorrow, hit the road between before 11 a.m. or after 8 p.m. And if you plan to return on Monday, avoid traveling from 3 to 7 p.m. And when it comes to road travel, AAA's outlook shows the number of drivers this year is up 4% compared to last year, 1.9% higher than 2019. So pre-pandemic.